Go. Okay. So here's the lot. This is the bottom of the hill. There's that. There's where we're going to park over to the left. That's where the RV is going to be. Good? Okay, it's going slow so I don't make anyone sick. Good call. Yeah. Okay, so down there is where the power pole is going to be, where the, the pink ribbon is. It's 35 feet up to here. Can we want to bring it ribbon? all the way up that super steep hill. And then we're going to bring it over to here for the temporary stub. There's going to be a doorway right there uh, eventually. So this will all come down to the footing elevation. And we'll park the RV right here, and that'll give us temporary power for the RV and for the build. And then to get it back inside, we'll just pre-run some conduit. We'll pull it through to get over inside, so it'll go pretty much underneath the garage area. Uh, water over this way. So that stake will be the water coming in from the street. And it'll go kind of like straight down to the street down there. It's like 40 feet, and it'll go diagonally over to here and then it'll go straight into the house there so we'll have to trench all this and then right next to it that stake and the next stake down like six feet apart we'll do the sewer trench and then we'll run off of the water and off of the sewer before they go into the house there we'll run them all the way over here and then around the corner, and the water will be a hydrant style sitting right here, and it'll stay there permanently, and we'll just hook up to it um, until we move out of the RV. But it'll sit here permanently with this door, and the door will open that way, so it'll just be out of the way, and this will all be cut out as a walkway. And then the sewer, will keep it running, and we'll kind of go in that way a little bit and stub it up and just leave it, and then we'll cap it when we're done with it. The end.